Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Catherine. I'm a professional makeup artist, and today we're talking about taking care of your brushes. So I'm sure you've been told or maybe read somewhere to clean your brushes, but what happens if you don't? Makeup brushes are breeding grounds for bacteria. Makeup residue, dead skin cells, dirt, oil, and bacteria all accumulate on brushes. So not taking proper care of them can result in acne, infections, and the spread of viruses. Properly caring for your brushes is not only going to negate all those things, but it's going to help save you money by protecting the brushes you have and expanding their life. So whether you're a professional or you're just using brushes for yourself, cleaning and disinfecting are an absolute must. With so much misinformation floating around the internet and YouTube, I really wanted to take a deep dive and research the most accurate, effective ways to clean brushes. I'll link my sources in the description below if you want to read anything more in depth or if you just want to know where I got my information from. If you're just using the brushes for yourself, try to spot clean after each use and then maybe deep clean once a week, at least once a month. If using professionally, you should spot clean and disinfect after every client and then deep clean at the end of the day. Cleaning is going to remove germs, dirt, and impurities by using soap or some sort of detergent and water. This isn't going to kill germs, but it will remove them, so it is going to lower that risk of infection. To spot clean, you're going to need a daily brush cleaner, something like these guys. You can find them at Target, or if you want more professional grade, they're going to have them at Friends and Namies. They're going to have a higher alcohol percentage so that they dry faster but aren't gonna be disinfectants. For professional use, my favorite is Cinema Secrets and Beauty So Clean, but for my personal brushes, I just use this guy. You don't wanna just spray this onto the brush because it doesn't reach far enough into the bristles to work effectively. I like to get a shallow bowl, pour a little bit out, and dip my brush into the cleaner. I'll then wipe my brush on a paper towel or shop towel until it's clean. Then I lay them flat to dry and disinfect them later. There are a ton of DIY brush cleaners on the internet, but I recommend getting a soap specifically meant to clean brushes. This is going to clean and condition, keeping your brushes healthier. There are lots of options when it comes to deep cleansing brush cleaners. If you're looking for something more affordable and accessible, e.l.f., Real Techniques, and NYX all sell brush cleaners at places like Target for like 6 to 10 bucks. If you're looking for something higher end with more conditioning power, which I highly recommend if you're using professionally, Friends and Namies are going to have bars of soap for around 20 to 60 bucks. But with a pro discount, it does come out cheaper. If you don't know what a pro discount is, I talked about it in my Building Your Pro Kit video, which I'll link below. These are my personal brushes, so I'm just using this cheap cleanser from Target. First, I grab two clean towels. You can use paper towels as well. Lay one on the counter to put my clean brushes on and then set the other aside. I keep my dirty brushes in a cup and wash them one at a time. You want the water to be warm but not too hot and keep the bristles pointed down and away from the faucet. If the water seeps into the handle, it can loosen the glue and cause shedding. Then take a pea-sized amount of cleanser and gently massage into the bristles. You can use one of those cleansing pads or your hands so long as you're agitating the soap into the bristles, it's going to do its job. Rinse all the product out and then squeeze the excess water out of the brush. I do this once with my hands, then again with that extra towel. I put my brushes in no particular order for now because I want them to be dry outside of the bathroom. Repeat until all your brushes are clean. Like I said before, moisture seeping into the handle will loosen the glue and cause shedding and the bristles can splay. So I'm going to set my brushes lying flat on my desk, hanging off the edge to dry. This allows air to circulate and dry the brushes faster. You could also use something like this if you have a ton of brushes to dry. Disinfecting kills germs by using chemicals. This isn't going to replace the cleaning step because it only kills germs but doesn't remove them, which is why it's really important to clean first, then disinfect. 
This had me really confused when I was first starting out. So imagine a battlefield. Disinfecting and cleaning are your weapons, and then the germs and bacteria are your enemy. If you try to disinfect first, the dirt and debris and grime are gonna act as barricades for the germs. But when you clean first, it's gonna break down those barriers and allow the disinfectant to work effectively. So what do we disinfect with? The long answer is an EPA registered disinfectant. The short answer, alcohol. Even though it's easy to think that a higher percentage of alcohol would kill bacteria faster and more efficiently, the CDC actually recommends to use a 70% alcohol to disinfect tools and surfaces. That's because water is acting as a catalyst for the disinfectant to bind to the bacteria. So 99% alcohol actually evaporates too quickly in order to disinfect. Now that our clean brushes are dry, I'm gonna disinfect them. This is done similarly to spot cleaning. I'm gonna pour my 70% alcohol into a small dish and dip my brushes directly into it. Then I swipe on a towel and lay flat to dry. Again, don't stand the brushes up in a cup to dry. The disinfectant will seep down into the handle and loosen the glue. Once you've cleaned and disinfected your brushes, make sure that they're 100% dry and then put them in a closed storage container. If brushes stay out, they'll accumulate dust and whatever else is floating around in the air. This is especially important if you leave your makeup brushes on the counter for two reasons. One, if you flush the toilet, particles from the toilet are going to aerosol up into the air and land on objects and surfaces, including your makeup brushes. That's how you get pink eye. And two, humidity from the shower will cause your brushes to get damp, allowing mold and bacteria that you just went through all that trouble of killing to grow again. So I hope this cleared up any misconceptions floating around on how to clean brushes. And if you see anybody cleaning their brushes wrong, you just smack them and make them watch this video. Until next time, like, subscribe, and share to the ugly mugs in your life. Somebody needs to tell them.